If you were alive in the 16th century, the first thing you would have noticed as you walked into the church was the architecture. You know, today in the 21st century, architecture is not as big of a deal as it was then. Our churches, well, they take all kinds of shapes and sizes. Some look traditional with steeples, others meet in shopping malls or movie theaters. But in the 16th century, architecture actually said something. It had a message behind it. If you were to walk into a Roman church, that is the Church of Rome, in the 16th century, what you would have seen would have looked very different than today. Uh, front and center would have been the altar uh, on which the elements, the, the wine and the bread, were uh, lifted up by the priest as um, really uh, a type of grace that then was to be infused in, in, in you who were the recipient. In other words, the altar was the central focus in many ways, and the priest himself, who was given a type of authority to absolve and forgive your sins. Well, when the reformers returned to the word of God, they realized not only was the gospel being taught wrongly or distorted, but that if this gospel is true, the church must look very differently. Uh, and so if you look at, say, a 16th century painting of a Protestant church, you will discover that front and center is the pulpit. Why? Because there the word of God is preached. You see, the Protestant reformers believe that scripture is our final authority. It's not the priest or the pope. It's not the tradition or the magisterium. It's the word of God because there God himself speaks to his people. And when he speaks, the gospel, well, the gospel is given to his people through the proclamation of his word. So architecture changed entirely and it sent a message to the average churchgoer that what you need so desperately is the word of God because as Luther said, in the scriptures, well, the scriptures, he said, these are the swaddling cloths or clothing of Jesus Christ. In other words, what Luther is getting at is, in the word of God, you will find the gospel. So how could the gospel and the word of God not be central in the church of the Protestant reformers?